A new world transfer record. Neymar is resting, the sheikhs of Saudi Arabia are shooting a loud purchase again, the new coach of Real Madrid, Chelsea is losing another star. All this and much more in today's issue. Good day friends, your football channel is with you. Be sure to like, click on the bell and subscribe. Already done? Well, then we can get started. The head coach of Real Madrid, Carla Ancelotti, will continue his work in the Brazilian national team. This was confirmed by the president of the Brazilian Football Confederation, Ednalo Rodriguez. Ancelotti will lead the Brazilian national team to the Copa America 2024 year. His contract will be valid for the World Cup 2026 year, quotes Rodriguez El Serengido on Twitter. That is, the Italian will spend another year at Real Madrid, and then leave. And then the Royal Club, like it or not, will have to look for a new coach. After all, the president of the confederation is an authoritative person and if he made such a statement, then it is so. So it is quite possible that we will hear or see a similar appeal from Real Madrid very soon, and perhaps at the moment when you are watching this video, it has already been made. We also want to remind you that there has been talk that Ancelotti can continue his career in the Brazilian national team for a long time, so all this is not happening out of the blue. As for who will replace him as the head coach of Real Madrid, you know, for some reason it seems to us that it will be Nagelsmann. During this season, he turned down many teams, and not easy teams. We talked about his appointment at Chelsea, then Tottenham, and we got the feeling that he was waiting for something. Maybe the cream ones even then offered him something like, they say, you take a walk for a year, Ancelotti will go to Brazil and we will take you, can it be? Yes it can, why not? Well, we just don't see any particular reasons to refuse to lead a team like Chelsea. He would build his own new project there from scratch, as Murigio is doing now on Kitan. Write in the comments what you think about Nagelsmann in Real Madrid and how likely it is in your opinion. Well, we continue to disperse the Chelsea theme. Mason Mount is leaving the Blues, this time it seems to be official. Given the speculation over the past six months, this may not come as a surprise to you, but it doesn't make it any easier to report that I have made the decision to leave Chelsea. I thought you deserved more than just a written statement, so I want to tell you right now how grateful I am for your support over the past 18 years. I know that some of you will not be happy with my decision, but this is what I need in the future at this point in my career. I came to Chelsea when I was 6 years old and we went through a lot together. We won the Youth Cup, the Player of the Year Award, the Super Cup, the Club World Cup and, of course, there was an unforgettable night when we took the Champions League. I wish you all the best, Mount said in an address to Chelsea fans on social media. We'll continue to mount on the skin of his career at Manchester United. The media write that the transfer amount will be about £60 million, including bonuses, and the contract with the player himself will be signed for a period of five years. At the time of recording this video, the Red Devils have not yet made an official statement, but perhaps at the moment when you watch this video, it has already been made. The transfer is excellent and it's another matter whether it's worth paying such money for a player whose contract is about to come to an end. But here is what is called at the discretion of everyone. Perhaps the MU was afraid that someone would intercept the Englishman from them. Earlier, the press trumpeted with might and main that Mount was a Liverpool player without five minutes, but Klopp and his team did not get into the Champions League for the next season, and Mew got and perhaps the choice of Mount in their favour was due to this factor. Well, we move on to the next news block. Do not switch, there is a lot of interesting things ahead. Well, even though we did indirectly, but touched on the topic of Liverpool, then let's continue with them. We are doing a really nice job today, one piece of news flows into another. In general, Roberto Firmino has become an Alalip player and this is also official information. He got to the new team absolutely free of charge, since he was in the status of a free agent. Liverpool, as you already know, did not renew the contract with him, which was actually used in Saudi Arabia. There are no details of his contract at the moment, but we can assume that this is a contract for two or three years with a bag of money in the load. Well, it's just that money has become the main motivator of the transition for him, we are almost sure of it. Fermin probably had a lot of offers from Europe and offers from big teams. The press wrote about Juventus, Inter, there were even talks about Real Madrid and Barcelona, but Fermin chose a different path, which we certainly cannot blame him for. If you were offered a job 20 times more highly paid than you have now, what would you say? Most likely yes. Therefore, approximately the same should be applied to football players who go to Saudi Arabia. 
football is their job and nothing else. Yes, it's a shame that we are seeing such an outflow of great players from Europe. Well, that's the way modern football works now, and like it or not, you have to put up with it. Well, to keep up to date with all the latest news from the football universe, subscribe to our channel and, very importantly, click on the bell. And while you're doing all this, we're moving on. More and more media are talking about the departure of Killian PSG this summer, even the exact dates are called, the 6th, 7th of July. Let's see how true this is. Meanwhile, the press writes about the value of the deal, which allegedly will be the largest in the history of football. Well, firstly, the journalist Jesus Carlos writes has already been closed, as well as many other sources. But what's interesting is the price. Real Madrid will pay 224 million euros plus another 56 million. The second is apparently bonuses or some other tranche. This is the largest transfer in the history of football. Before that, Neymar was the most expensive, PSG signed him for 222 million euros. The media also write that the Hillian deceived the bosses of Parisians, as reported by the publication Lee Kip. The club believes that the footballer violated the agreement when extending the contract in 2022nd year. Then the player assured that he would not leave the club as a free agent, so the Parisians decided to conclude a short-term agreement with him, and did not insist on a mandatory three-year deal. Only time will tell how true all this is. There are a lot of rumors on this topic right now, so we'll just wait until the 8th of July, give them another day on top. But if this transfer takes place now and on such terms, we would not be in a hurry to say that PSG lost with his sale, rather acquired somewhere, and not lost. But once again, we will wait. Well, in the meantime, be sure to watch our last video, it has appeared before your eyes right now. And that's all for today, I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck to everyone, bye to everyone.